with the injury and playing such a heavy load like right off the bat, how, how's your body holding up to the, the demands of, of playing high level minutes uh, at a rate you haven't had to do before at this level? Um, my body's holding up pretty well, you know, I'm, you know, taking care of it every day, getting the necessary treatment I need to be able to go out there and produce for the team. So, um, you know, it was a bit of a change, I had to get adjusted to the first two couple games, but now that my body's, you know, I'm adjusted now and ready to go. What was it like the first time you heard the PA announcer call out Eugene Brown the third as a starter? What was that moment like? Um, it was a pretty big moment. Um, you know, it was an away game, so I didn't get ready to, you know, right. feel it and embrace it, you know, fully. But, you know, it's still something I brought, you know, some joy. And, you know, I just tried to stay locked in. And stay in the moment. Was it any different here than at home for the first time? Yeah, yeah, it was, you know, with the crowd and everything. You know, the, you know everyone knew, you know, Eugene. Yeah, just <laughs> all the extra stuff, ad libs, and just, it made it more. How uh, validating for you is it to be, you know, a regular starter for this team now? And is, is that a clear sign that maybe you've been looking for that, you know, your hard work is paying off and you're you are taking the strides that you uh, wanted to? Um, I don't know if it's a clear sign. You know, it's not really about you know starting. It's about you know who's finishing, how you're playing, all that stuff. So I mean, um, of course, I love starting. You know, being able to help my team off the job field go. Um, but I feel like it's, it's definitely um, validation of just the hard work that I've been putting in and just you know staying the course, um, trusting the coaches, the team, and the process basically. And what about your performance the other night? Obviously, 10, uh, 10 big points for the Buckeyes. I mean, how uh, you know comfortable did you feel out there? And, and can you uh, you know take that and, and go to the next level now here in the, the next few games? Uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit more trusted just by you know everyone, um, coaches, players, you know, fans. So um, I, think it's, I think it's giving me a little bit of confidence. Um, so you know, just going out there and just playing my game, being myself. Um, it's allowed me to help the team. How have you seen yourself grow over the course of the past two years? Is, is there one area of your game that stands out the most? I would definitely say, you know, just probably my offensive game. Um, you know, last year was a lot of, you know, spot up stuff, um, wasn't really doing much, but now I feel like, you know, I'm able to do a couple more things with the ball in my hands, um, you know, see stuff going on, and of course my defense that's always getting better, you know, locking into the details and stuff like that. That's one of the things that your coach has said in the past he wants to see you grow in is your offensive approach. I mean, how is he, how is the coaching staff, how has your teammates kind of challenged you in being kind of, you know, that increased offensive guy, not only, you know, showcasing your defensive versatility, but kind of being out there as like a guy that can be counted on offensively. Um, kind of just the, the trust and, you know, the stuff they put in me, telling me just be aggressive, you know, stay aggressive, they don't care if I'm missing shots, um, stuff like that. If I'm taking good shots, the shots that, you know, are within the plays and the system, you know, everybody's down for it, so it's just giving me confidence. What do you think you did to get you to the starting five? What, I mean, Specifically, was there anything you were told, or you know, is there anything you felt like you were making progress in to, to become a starter? Um, not necessarily. I know Coach told me, you know, he wanted me to become a more efficient shooter, um, to get more playing time, and then, of course my defense and everything. So I think um, me not playing at that Rutgers game, you know, they had a lot of light size guys for me. Um, I was gonna play that game, but you know, of course I didn't with the injury. So I think that Michigan game that was a chance for me to go out there and you know use my versatility on defense. And I think that's why I got the starting role. And coming from high school, I assume you were one of the bigger guys just in general. How how much did last year help kind of just transition? I know you probably didn't play as much as you wanted to and have the role, but just having that year to kind of play, but not necessarily be a major factor, did that help you adjust to college game and kind of figuring out where exactly you fit within the, the scheme of things? Uh, yeah, I think it did. You know, just talking to the leaders that we had last year, um, CJ, of course, EJ, um, you know, all those guys just just getting a secondary view and their viewpoint of you know how the things are going, season and stuff like that, was able to just you know allow me to get ready for this year. Do you feel the game's still slowing down for you? I know that you're not really a new guy anymore at all, but your minutes are increasing with each game. Do you feel it's still slowing down, or do you think you're still getting up to speed? Do you think? No, I think it's definitely still slowing down. Um, just with the adjustments with all the minutes, you know, getting out there and you know being more aggressive. Of course, it's going to take a little bit just for the game. Fully slow down, but it's definitely been improved. You're a pretty versatile guy defensively. Uh, you can just do it a lot. But uh, Jamari kind of sets the tone for what you guys are going to bring her on the defensive end. Uh, he's a really experienced guy. What have you learned from him this year, and, and what can you take away from, from his game that might help you become even more versatile and can be better on the, on the defensive end? I've learned a lot from him actually. So, you know, um, when we're covering ball screens, you know, I've asked him a couple questions about how you do this, how you do that. Um, rotational stuff, just all the you know ins and outs that he probably knows just from being a defensive player for you know five years or whatever. Um, I kind of just.
just you know pick his brain about stuff like that to make my game better. Uh, when we've talked with uh, Chris Holman just these last couple weeks, he's mentioned that this stretch run is going to be really a big test for your team and whatnot. Starting with Illinois on Thursday, um, with the way you guys played them last year in the Big Ten tournament, how big is this stretch run in your opinion? Just the way uh, your team's going to approach going into March. Um, I feel like this game, um, basically starting with the Illinois game, is, is a big one because uh, you know we beat them last year at their place. They beat us here at our place, and then you know the overtime and Big Ten tournament. So I think it's um, the competition is still going to be there. Um, it's going to be a real competitive game. You know, of course, Kobe's is a I mean, he's a beast. So I mean, we've got players they got to worry about too. So it's going to be a great game. I'm just excited to get the stretch on the way. How uh, how do you and the rest of your teammates plan to approach playing a guy like Kobe and you know, trying to prep your uh, Curbelo and whatnot uh, going into Illinois? Um, I mean, it's just going to be a game plan. You know, we always game plan for every team we play. So I think game plan is just a little bit of, you know, fight and heart um, will get us to that point. Q, what was that, that block like that you had, I guess, in the end where you had the guy kind of on the breakaway and you shot it down pretty quickly? What, what's a moment like that like, and how do you feel that uh, spark the team a little bit? Um, that's something I used to be known for in high school, actually, was, you know, going and blocking shots like that. So it just felt good, you know, kind of, you know, relive that and bring that side back out. So. Um, um, blocks like that always give your team a great boost of energy, especially off the turnovers that are happening on. So I mean, it's just great. And you, you mentioned the, the Rutgers game, and I, I was after that game, I was thinking about how I think if you play that game, you get probably win. It seemed like your length and athleticism probably would have given you another another um, ability against Rutgers. I don't know what was it like for you watching that game and knowing that that seemed to be a game that was kind of tailor made for your skills and you kind of couldn't play. Uh, I mean, it was, it was tough, of course. Um, you know, I talked to Coach about it before the game, but, um, you know, there's nothing we could do about it. I need to sit out just to, you know, um, be where I'm at right now, be healthy. So it was just a decision we had to make. Was defensive versatility in that part of your game, was that also was that something that you kind of, you know, uh, that always a part of it, like back in high school, back when you started playing, was that something you always kind of latched on to as kind of your thing, or, or when did that kind of come about for you? Uh, I kind of just took pride in it, basically. Um, in the region I was in, it was a lot of, you know, top-ranked guys, a lot of guys like that. So I just loved to, you know, compete and guard them and go against them, you know, on a weekly basis. So I guess they're just demons, they kind of just picked up off of that. And you, and you mentioned the game kind of still slowing down for you. When you started getting those starters minutes and hearing your name called and things like that, did it did you feel like you were ready for it? Like, was it something that you were like, oh no, I may not, you know, yeah, is, is it something that you kind of had to still get used to or was it something you felt like you were ready for to get those amount of minutes and to hear your name called in that starting lineup? Um, yeah, I felt like I was ready. I mean, um, like they asked about my, you know, body adjusting. I feel like that was the only thing that probably wasn't ready coming off of the, you know, the breaks that I was on, but, you know, mentally, um, emotionally, I was ready. I was, you know, I felt like I deserved those minutes to, you know, be effective. Excited to see uh, Bruce Norton sign with Ohio State. Yeah, man, my yeah. guy. How, how well do you guys know each other? Um, pretty well. Um, you know, he's came on a visit a couple times. You know, um, I know him before that just from being in the Georgia area, Milton, and all that stuff. So I'm excited for Bruce to get up here. And because you were talking about your shot blocking, who's better at blocking shots, you or EJ? I'll probably give it to EJ. You know, he's he's more in that you know predicament or situation a lot more than me. So he does a great job blocking shots. He had what, like four or five against Iowa, so I mean, it's something he does with that, his athleticism and everything. So I'll probably give it to EJ. Anything?